Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the Founding Fathers. I would remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. What if the Constitution no longer applied? What if the whole purpose of the Constitution was to limit the government? What if Congress's enumerated powers in the Constitution no longer limited Congress, but were actually used as a justification to extend Congress's authority over every realm of human life? What if the president, meant to be an equal to Congress, has instead become a democratically elected term-limited monarch? What if the president assumed that everything he did was legal just because he's the president? When the president does it, that means it's not illegal. What if he could declare war on his own? You're the reason old people are eating out of garbage cans? And kids get killed in bullshit wars? What if he could read your emails and your texts without a search warrant? The NSA specifically targets the communications of everyone. What if he could kill you without warning? What if the federal government decided if its own powers were proper and constitutional? What if the Constitution were no longer the supreme law of the land? What if you needed a license from the government to speak, to assemble, or to protest against the government? What if the government didn't like what you planned to say and so it didn't give you the license? What if the right to keep and bear arms only applied to the government? The right to keep and bear arms is a sacred right. It is a natural right. It is in the same category of speech and press and religion and travel and privacy. Why do we need a permission slip from the government to protect ourselves? when we don't need a permission slip from the government for our other rights. What if you were not secure in your person, in your papers, and in your property? What if federal agents could write their own search warrants in defiance of the Constitution? What if voting didn't mean anything anymore because both political parties stand for big government? There is no party. There are no voices to uh, offer an actual pro-capitalist, laissez-faire, economic freedom and individualism. That is what this country needs today. What if the government could write any law, regulate any behavior, and tax any event? The Constitution be damned. What if the government was the reason we don't have a Constitution anymore? What if you could love your country, but hate what the government has done to it? If all of you vow not to surrender the habits of liberty, to speak freely, to act freely, to live freely, they cannot prosecute us all, uh, and if they decide to go full Charlie Hebdo, they cannot kill us all. Show this world that this is still a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. If you want to live by the judgment of your own mind, not edicts from the state, do not support your own oppressors. Stop letting the system exploit you. Make government more the servant and not the master of us all. In this free nation, we do not choose to be ruled. We elect to be governed. What if sometimes, to love your country, you had to alter or abolish the government? What if Jefferson was right? What if that government is best which governs least? What if I'm right? What if the government is wrong? What if it is dangerous to be right when the government is wrong? What if it is better to perish fighting for freedom than to live as a slave? What if freedom's greatest hour of danger is now? To everyone within the range of my voice, you now have a choice to make. If you decide to support the notion of sacrifice enforced by the state, your game is up. Your world is in a downward spiral and you will ride it down to destruction. You know, this used to be a hell of a good country. I can't understand what's going wrong with it. Man, everybody got chicken, that's what happened. Man.
you think we're going to cut their throat or something, man. Like, they're scared, man. Oh, they're not scared of you. They scared of what you represent to them. What you represent to them is freedom. What the hell's wrong with freedom, man? That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what it's all about, all right. But talking about it and being it, that's two different things. Oh, yeah, they going to talk to you and talk to you and talk to you about individual freedom. But they see a free individual, it's going to scare them. No, well, don't make them running scared. No, it makes them dangerous.